My name is Stefanos Roulagas. I'm an attorney with uh, Blank Rome uh, in Washington, D.C. I focus on maritime law. I would like to first and foremost, thank you to the SQE Marine and to all of you here in Poseidonia. Uh, to answer the question, uh, of course, we are living in a troubled market. Uh, prices are down. Uh, many companies are suffering. So what new and upcoming regulations will do uh, is alter the market. It will reward early adopters that find efficient ways to incorporate compliance uh, into their operating plan. Uh, what it will also do, conversely, is punish those that wait too long or wait until they're caught uh, to, uh, to begin to find mechanisms to comply. Of course, in a down market, it's very difficult to find, uh, uh, to find funds to, uh, to ensure proper compliance. But if you think that, uh, it, but if uh, compliance seems expensive, of course, the cost of non-compliance are, are even higher. Uh, our solutions portfolio, we offer several cost-effective solutions uh, in this regard. Um, the earlier on uh, in the planning process uh, that council is consulted, uh, the, the better. Uh, we offer advice as far as uh, developing systems uh, for compliance, uh, for uh, ensuring uh, timelines for compliance, and then also once uh, systems and mechanisms are uh, installed and in place um, by various audit solutions uh, to ensure that things remain ship shape. Well, the, the truth is there's been uh, far too many incidents uh, with, lots of, with loss of life uh, and tremendous consequences for those involved, uh, both seafarers that have been uh, imprisoned uh, as a result of uh, casualties, as well as uh, companies that have uh, faced uh, tremendous fines uh, as a result of casualties. Uh, the short answer is creating a culture of compliance company-wide, top-down, uh, not only within the company, uh, but also uh, with those working with the company. For example, in the Sawal incident, we saw uh, different, uh, different vendors and those that worked with the company but were outside the company uh, were ultimately found to be criminally responsible for what happened uh, in the incident. Uh, so it's not only enough to have internal procedures in place, uh, it's important to ensure that those that you work with uh, you know, have equally high standards. Uh, further, uh, you know, we see that in some of these incidents, uh, it's basic issues such as navigation, uh, as in the Sewol incident, as in the Costa Concordia. Um, it's important to, to emphasize that, uh, you know, that even a moment's uh, forgetfulness or negligence can lead to dramatic consequences. Uh, in terms of mitigating uh, issues when they do arise, it's important to act very quickly. Uh, you know, there should be plans in place before an incident happens. Uh, Blank Rome has a maritime emergency response team that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week throughout the world. Uh, our cell phone numbers, our emails are available on our website, blankrome.com. encourage you to have those numbers handy should an incident happen, uh, but also have additional shoreside personnel ready to go and knowledgeable about uh, what to do. Uh, for instance, in the United States, the Coast Guard recently produced a NAVIC uh, detailing what needs to be done um, in the case of a casualty. It's important to understand that um, and if you need any help uh, uh, you know, understanding that, we are always available to assist.